Yes, yes. safe country. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, sure. 100 percent. Yeah. I think China is a very safe country. Yeah, I think that China is a safe country. Uh, yes, I do actually think it's quite safe. Very safe. Yes. I think it's it's one of the safest countries in the world. Well, it's been safe so far. I mean, I know I'm a big guy, so usually when I walk around, people give me distance. But yeah, it's been very safe. China is a safe country, but I only live in Shanghai. It's different because Cyprus is a very small island. It's safer in China than in Russia. More than here. It's a lot safer than my own country. In the countryside in England, it's very, very safe. In the big cities, marginal. I feel that Germany and China are pretty much the same. And Germany's a safe place to be as well. I feel safe in both countries, in my own country and in China. Canada is very safe as well. Actually, Spain is very safe country. I feel quite safe walking on the street here, even on my own at night time. But I would stick to the lit areas, I wouldn't go down the dark streets. One of the main reasons I feel safe here in China is that the people are not allowed to carry weapons. You have arguments here, but you don't really see any violence on the streets. My experience in all my years has been nothing more than a few little fights amongst private people. A lot of cameras, a lot of police, so just presence of police makes me more safe. Because every people is very smile, is a good person, you no know, any criminal I don't see. We can go away without nobody uh, disturb us. We are very free. Everywhere you go you can see that they have a lot of cameras on the streets and even in the subway so even if something gets stolen of yours it's not that difficult. If you go to the police station you can always ask them and they're ready to help. There's a lot of room, it's well lit, it's clean. Uh, you see policemen here and there. Uh, people are, are smile, they're not threatening. I mean you never hear anything about like someone who uh, got a problem or someone aggressed somebody. The most dangerous experience has probably been uh, driving a scooter or a bicycle here in the traffic. Uh, I feel that the, uh, the drivers are not really aware of people on two wheels and that's, that can be quite dangerous and there are accidents. The only dangerous experience is maybe drive. The motorbikes are a little bit crazy. I played the violin and it got stolen. So I went to the police and I reported it and in a week I actually got my violin back. Electric motorcycles and the cyclists riding along the pavement. That's very, very wrong. That must be stopped. a couple of times like we would break into our houses and basically hold you hostage and sometimes there would be a little bit violent like they would hit you so that your parents can get worried and give them whatever they've got. I have uh, uh, had an experience where somebody um, cut me with a knife that was in Germany um, at a large beer festival and that was somebody I was trying to actually help somebody else and break up a fight and that person pulled a knife out and slashed me on my arm and I was hospitalized for that. I couldn't tell you that. Far too complex. I'm a pilot and I've had a lot of problems, dangerous problems with flying airplanes. My home's been robbed so we put in an alarm system. <laughs>